Hey guys, welcome back. Bold Spider here, and I'm with a different video today. Now, tonight I just made it to Silver 1 in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, this is just a game that I played during my off time, and what have I been playing to get all the way up to Silver 1? I have been playing Heretics. So let's take a look at the deck list. So... The deck list I have currently uses the Destiny Draw skill ability. And Destiny Draw is if your life points decrease by 2000 during your draw phase instead of conducting your draw, you draw a card of your choice. This is a once per duel effect. And let's get into the card by card. First off, we if you look at the list right now, I have six of seven extract spaces. Because I don't have a number 61 Volca Source at all yet. But I've made it to Silver 1 just by using what I have. And over time just editing my build as I grind the ladder. So let's get right into the card by card. I have two Heretic Dragon of Tefnuit. This card is one of your starter cards. It is a good starter card because it special summons itself from your hand. It's a Cyber Dragon for the deck. Only if your opponent controls a monster. Then we have three of the Herotic Dragon Sue. Now Sue is the card that allows you to pop the opponent's back row by tributing a Herotic monster. And all of them share the same effect of when this card is tributed. You get to special summon a normal dragon from your deck. Sue is one of the best cards in your deck because it pops the spell and traps just in case if you need to get rid of them. Then we have the second starter of the deck. We have Heretic Dragon of Esset. This card can be normal summoned without tributing, but it becomes a thousand attack. Once per turn, target one face-up dragon normal type monster on the field. All levels of your Heretic monsters become that shared level. And the next card is Heretic Dragon of Nebethet. Nebethet is a great card because it deals with certain type of monsters by tributing a Heretic and... Then you destroy that monster. Next, we have two Guard Dragon Prominences. This card is attack game and just filler right now because one card I... Eh, I don't have the two other convocations. And also, if a normal monster is sent to my graveyard, I get to special summon this card. So it's good just as a defensive wall. Then for the two normal monsters, we have a Wattail Dragon and a Curse of Dragon for our level 6 and level 5 plays. The one seal of convocation, you need three of this card because it is the main search spell of the deck. And I would actually play 22 cards if I had three of these. Then we have two Cosmic Cyclone and two Enemy Controller. Overall, I love this ratio of 2 and 2 because it's definitely a lot of fun. Then for the extract, we have the one Constellar Ptolemy M7. This card is great because you can hard make it by using a Sue and a Wattail Dragon. You could detach one material from this card and target one monster on the field or in graveyard. In either graveyard and return it to the hand. Ooh. Excuse me. This card is very good to close out games and open up the board so you can attack directly. Then we're running two Gaia Dragon the Thunder Charger. This card is very great as it is a piercing damage monster. And on top of that, you can summon it on top of your rank sixes and fives. So legit your whole entire extra deck. Then we have Heretic Dragon King of Autumn. This card is amazing because you special summon any dragon monster from your deck. But... It is zero attack and defense. Also, this card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. That's why you go up into Gaia Dragon. And then last but not least is one Frieza Don just for the level for the rank five, even though I don't have a Volca Source, which would go here in spot seven. So how is my rank overall? I hit silver one tonight, which is pretty good. And I wish I could find a way to check how many wins and losses i have i think there is a way um but you could see just recently 
for today, I only lost once. Just once today. I remember I lost a couple items a couple yesterday. But overall, I really love this deck. This is one of the most fun decks. Oh, rank dual details. Oh. That does that tells me nothing. But overall, this deck is a lot of fun to play. And if you have all the cards, I highly recommend it. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider, and I'll have another update when I hit gold. I think gold is the next one. Yes, gold is the next one. And I have a long way to go. But see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.